Mama named me Journey. Journey. As if somehow she wished her restlessness on me. But it was Mama who would be gone the year that I was 11. Before spring crashed onto her hillside with explosions of mountain laurel. Before summer came with the soft slap of the screen door. Breathless nights and mildew on the books. You shouldn't do this. It's wrong. Can't live here anymore. Can't live with your should -haves. You're always telling me what it is I do wrong. It's your house, too. Your children. They have you. I'm not enough, men. Oh, yes, you are. You're enough. You fill up this house, Marcus. It's your house. It's your land. It's your grandchildren. Your rules. And my fault. That's the way it's always been, hasn't it? Someone else's fault. I can't be what you want, Marcus. I never could. Even when I was little, you remember all the times I, I, I wanted to ride the tractor with you. You said I shouldn't. And when I wanted, when I wanted to work in town, you said I shouldn't. And when, when I wanted to go away to school, you made me stay here. Oh, that was a long time ago. Yeah, you gave up on me a long time ago. Is it my fault he left you too? I don't think so. Nobody leaves this place. Families lived here forever. Our family doesn't go away. I go away. It isn't fair. The journey, cat. You come and go like a visitor. It's not a mother's way. Don't come back. When I was little, I used to stare at Daddy's picture, trying to remember him. I tried to place the picture so his eyes would look into mine. But they never did. They always looked past me. Do you remember him? Do you know why Daddy went away? No one talks about it. I don't even think about it. She's leaving. Again. Got a suitcase. No, no.
I'll send my journey. They're better off here. It's not good enough, man. I'll call. Come back, Journey. No, son, she won't be back. Mama? She won't be back. Oh! That's all we have of men and the children. Anymore. I don't want Mama's recorder and most everything else, including me. I spent all yesterday looking into the eyes of a cow, and I will be a vegetarian. Which cow? I'm tired of this cat. My pictures are so... Boring. You're right, Grandpa. You take it. Journey? I know the farm. Why would I need to take pictures of it? Recorder. I used to play the recorder. Long time ago, remember? Mm -hmm.
Lottie, turn around. Journey? Looking for your grandfather? No. Where is he? Taking pictures of cow pies. your mama journey. She'll be back. Marcus, I'm getting really tired of that. return dress. I expect she won't. Marcus! Let it be. I think that what Grandpa means is there'll be money in the envelope. Not words. Not the words you want. You'll be disappointed. I'm not disappointed. I'm not. There are words. Our names are there. Our names are words. Journey, you keep the money. Do what you want with it. I'll put it in the bank. I'll start a travel account. So the mama tells where she is. Kat and I can go visit. She forgot the return address. She forgot. That's all.
Why does he do that? Why do you do that? Why? Because he needs to. I don't understand. I know, honey, I know. Oh, and your cousin Bob? Remember him? Ah, uh, that's me. When I was cat's age. And that's me again. Now, that was taken on a long ago 4th of July. You look happy. I was happy. It was the day I met your grandpa. Oh, there's your mother. Same age, same date. Many years later. Hey, that's Aunt Lacey and Uncle Minor. That's right. And your grandpa took that picture. It's a good picture. Except for Mama. What's your name? You know, your Mama always wanted to be somewhere else. Mm. Now she is. Somewhere else.
Do you ever come through the door like everyone else? No. Here we go, Emmett. Oh, good boy. Emmett. Hi. Hey. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Will you marry me? That's the first time this month he's asked. I'll get tired of it. Routine is good. My mother says so. So? She's gone. He looks like you, Cooper. Oh, yeah. That's what everybody says. We all look alike. The whole family, down through the ages. You could toss all our pictures up in the air. When they came down, they'd all look like me. Well, I don't look like anyone. Is that you, Kat? No, that's Mama. Mama a long time ago. Oh, it's just... We, we look just... so much the same, I know. Yeah. There, that's who I look like. Look, see? Yeah, I do. I do. Sounds like a wedding. <laughs> but you look like Mama, too. Well, well, look who's come for a visit. Hello, Cooper. Hey. Did you hold that, Journey. Hmm. Oh, Emmett, well, nice to see you again. How's my boy? <laughs> yeah, come on. How are you? Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. No, no, that's all right. You take as many pictures as you want. Trot, trot to Boston. Trot, trot, Juliet. Watch out, little boy, or you'll fall in. Trot, trot to Boston. Trot, trot to Lynn. Watch out, little boy, or you'll fall in. Trot, trot to Boston. Trot, trot, Juliet. Watch out, little boy, or you'll fall in. We're in the garden. Up and down I go, my eyes fastened on white buttons against the blue shirt. The smell of summer fills the air, and voices rising and falling, and laughter. Watch out, little boy, or you'll... I look at the shirt button, and then the neck, but there's no face. It's my father, I know, but... There's no face. <laughs> Things don't look the same through the camera. Not the way they are in real life. Sometimes. And sometimes pictures show us what is really there. How can that be? I don't know, Journey. Maybe that's why people take pictures, to see what's there. What do you mean, to see what is there? Look. What does he mean? That could be you, Journey. What's up, Daddy? It's him, isn't it? Two of a kind. It's Grandfather, Journey. Grandfather. You look like him. You are like him. No. Cat, I need some help. Coming. Welcome, Miss Cat. Come on, Emmett. Let's go see Journey's grandmother. No. Well, you've got to try. You can't. To... Well, you've got to. I mean, it's nothing. Oh, no. We're not arguing. We're having a dialogue. Sounds like arguing. 
I can't track down. I don't know how. You'll learn. I don't want to learn. Well, you'll be glad someday. You'll be glad to know how to drive, won't he? Why? Well, I'm an old man. I mean, if I die behind the wheel one day, you'll be able to drive. I'm only a boy. Then drive like a boy. Now, look, just a minute. Come on, come on over here. Just oh, no. a minute. Stand there. I know the family That's picture. That's it, yes. Lottie! Lottie! A picture of Lottie. Get a hat. Why are we doing this? I'm not an actor, Marcus. I'm a hot old woman. You're a fetching hot old woman. <laughs> Timer set. Ten, nine, eight. Why? Seven, six, five, four, three. Don't look up. Two, one. Never mind. Let's get going. I've got rolls of film to drop off, and pictures to pick up, and uh, other things to get in town. Other things? What other things? Things. Photo things. Come on, Journey. I'll drive when we get into town. You drive now. Ah. I can't reach the pedals. I can't even see out. Here's out, Journey. Sit on this pillow. Wait, this is a break. No, Journey. The clutch. The clutch. Exactly. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Journey. <laughs> uh, nice Remember when he taught men how to drive? Oh, Don't some yelling. So <laughs> Lots of yelling. We never did teach anyone to know what to do. Especially road. Marcus. Especially Marcus. It's funny how some people bump up against each other, isn't it? Yeah. But they did all the time. Well, even when Min was little. Marcus has his way. She never liked his way. Well, he never liked her way either, Lottie. <laughs> That's true. Maybe she'll come back. Maybe not. Maybe it's better if she stays away. Sure you want to stay. You're a good worker. Gotta move on. Maybe come through here again. Thank you. No, he's doing all right. I can't do this. Why do you have a car like this? I love this car. Uh, there aren't many left. They're extinct, like the passenger pigeon. That's what Grandma says. Oh, does she? Yeah. Uh, hold it steady now. Come on, hold it steady. Pictures. If we're in a car accident, he's going to photograph it as it happens. Hold it there now. Keep it. That's right. Good. Oh. Hey! Hey, Grandpa, look. 
Huh? Quick, take a picture. Oh, oh, Coop, <laughs> Cooper, hey. Huh. You know, huh? I bet the picture of all of us looking at the airplane, it'll be fine. I think so too, Jerry. Two of a kind. Regard them like they're sightseers or like they're visitors, you know? In our case. It's new. I bought it in town. Farmer who takes pictures, Lottie. I'm a photographer farmer. <laughs> Marcus, you've got to learn you cannot always have things your own way. Move the camera, that's why the edges are fuzzy. It's not a good picture, I guess. Journey, it's a wonderful picture. But I moved the camera. You did. But you see how Emmett and I look like we're the only ones there? How we look like we're wrapped in a cocoon away from the rest of the world? See how the edges frame us. Yeah, but it's not perfect. Perfect? What's perfect? Journey. Things don't have to be perfect, I mean, fine. Now that goes for pictures and that goes for life. 
things could be good enough. Grandfather? Hmm? Do you think Mama left? I wasn't good enough? No. No, Journey. Do you know that I tell you the truth, even when you don't like to hear it? Sometimes you tell me the truth. You said that Mama won't come back. And I know she will. That wasn't the truth. Do you need someone to blame, Journey? Is that it? Well, here's an important truth. It is not your fault. It's not all Mama's fault. No. I can see that you can't blame men. And that's all right. I remember things. I remember Try Try to Boston. I do. Uh, I'm not surprised that you remember. You were very little, but you wanted to hear that rhyme over and over. I remember I sat on Daddy's lap before he went away. I remember the button on his shirt. And then he held my hands, and he wouldn't let me fall. Mama and Papa kept me safe and took care of me. Until you... Until I made them go away? Do you think I did that? Where are the pictures? I want to see the pictures. What pictures? Pictures of Papa and Mama and me. And Cat. We were babies like Emmett. And I was on Papa's knees, and he sang to me. There weren't many. I don't need many. They're gone. Gone? You mean Mama took them? The truth? Yes. Did she take them? No, Journey. Your Mama tore them up. He blames me. Oh, he blames you. You blame her. All this blame. How could she leave the children? How could she do that? Do you remember when Min used to sit on my lap when she was little? She'd stay for a while. And then she wandered. Remember we find our way down the road, way out in the meadow? As if she was going away. As if she was going away then. Loved her when she was little. Yeah. You're trying not to love her now, just like Journey's trying not to love you. Journey, and if you are, you're glad of it. You just like us to bring you ginger ale and soup. I have a sore throat. Yeah, let's see. I have a temperature, too. How many quilts do you have here? One, two, three, a quilt, a bedspread. Journey, you've got five blankets and it's summer. You may turn into a butterfly. Cat, Mama tore up our pictures. No, no. Cat! You're not sick, Journey. You're hiding out. You always hide out when things... 
things go wrong. Better? Cat made me get up. <laughs> Cat's a woman of action. She doesn't believe much in introspection. Introspection? That's what you've been doing for the past two days. Thinking mostly about yourself. See, Cat? She believes that if she keeps busy, all her problems will just go away. Does that work? No more than thinking works. But if you notice, my garden is, what, twice the size it was last year. Well, we all do the best we can during, you know? Like you, your sister and I, we garden ourselves into a kind of madness. You think yourself into a sore throat. And your grandpa takes pictures. do it. Tear up the pictures. Journey, I, I told you before, I can't speak for a minute. I'll have to ask her when I see her. Oh, I hope you get to do that. I really do. Your grandfather shouldn't have told me. He shouldn't have told me that Mama tore up the pictures. Journey you asked. It's funny sometimes I would just get angry at the wrong person, you know. sore throat. I could have a temperature. Do you hear me? Happy at your 
Leaning out a speeding automobile, catching me with curlers. I saw you driving, Journey. You made me. Now, here is one that nobody should own. Oh. Who took this picture? You, Marcus? It was that hot spell, Boone. I also have a nice uh, close-up of your underwear and a heap by the pond. <laughs> Marcus, you're a menace, you are. <laughs> I've got pictures I'd rather do away with when I was young and gawky. Uh, when I first met Mrs. McDougall, she had her hair all swept up to one side, a lot of lipstick and cheeks like little apples. <laughs> I wanted to look older. Didn't we want that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Journey? Did you get the pies from the kitchen table? I have pictures of when I dyed my hair yellow. Oh, no. There was a blue. Yeah. She looked like a sunflower. <laughs> Journey. I've never seen that cat before. It's beautiful. Who do you think he belongs to? No one. He belongs to no one. He belongs to someone. Everything belongs to someone. Get the phone, will you? Hello? No. No, I will not let you speak to him. Who's no one?
Can I do something for you? No. Thanks, Grandma. Good night. Good night. Good night. Tuckered out, huh? Eh? <laughs> Whose cat is it? No, Journey. You know your grandma's not fond of cats. She loves her birds. Well, I love his cat. He came to my window. I think he's mine. Do not, do not name this cat. You know the family rule. I name it, he's mine. For heaven's sakes. Oh, have you named him yet? Marcus. Lottie, this is an injured animal. We have to be humane here. Marcus, you know how I feel about cats, and cats are not humane to birds. Grandma, I need this cat. Uh, actually, Lottie. It's unfortunate, I know, but Journey has named the cat already. You know the rules. Oh, yeah? What's the name? What have you named him? Uh, yes. Uh, his name is... Uh... His name is Bloom. Isn't that what you called him, Journey? Yes, Bloom. <laughs> you just made that up, old man. You might as well have called him Peony. Lottie. Journey knows that Peony is no name for a cat. Hi. Mom forgot her sweater. Right? Hey, what is your name? Bloom. I'll get the camera. It's a pretty kitty. Soft. Yes, you are. Wait. <laughs> Father, thank you. You're welcome. So, how's Lottie taking all this? Fair to Midland. More fair than Midland. He's a good cat, Bird. Mm -hmm. He catches mice, not birds. Mm. Oh, boy. Man, does Lottie know that? He is a she. From the looks of it, about to have a litter. 
Not yet. Well, she will soon. Congratulations. You're going to be a papa. <laughs> Did you really think that I didn't know the bloom was female? No. My grandma knows everything. Of course I knew. This means there's going to be half a dozen furry little animals are going to grow up to be large, hungry, furry animals are going to eat my birds. Oh, psst, psst. She likes you, Lottie. Oh, get out of here. There's work to be done. What about dessert? The pie is cooling. Now, go on. Oh, not another mouse. You are a filthy cannibal. She's angry. Just get out of here, will you? Do you want another treat? You are a beautiful cat. Oh, you are beautiful. You are the best cat in the world. Still no return address. It's like she left this postmark path you can't follow. She did it to you too, Kat. <laughs> she didn't take them with her. She left them here. She sure destroyed our family, didn't she? It looks like murder. I'm gonna fix this cat. I'm gonna tape these pictures back together. What's your name? It's, it's all right, Lottie. 
the right to those pictures. Their journey's past. Put all these pictures back together, and everything will be fine. It will. Journey, it's too hard. It's impossible. There's hundreds of pictures here, hundreds. Your cowboy hat looks stupid. Two other pictures up so small, can't fix them. Mom is not coming back, is she?
box is all yours, Bloom. You found it after all. Thanks for bringing my bike. Sorry about what I said to you about your hat. Been crying? Yeah. Well then, let's go in. Miss McDougal's making breakfast. Why do you call your mom Mrs. McDougal? Well, it's your name. Come on. He's learning to feed himself. Mr. McDougal! I've eaten, Mrs. McDougal. I'll have coffee. Morning, Journey. How are you doing, son? All right. Come on, man. Come on. Good. There you are. Good boy. Oh, he needs a play. Ow! You don't have any pinch? There. Eggs? Yes, yes. Give him eggs. Plump as a plum, wasn't he? Grandfather says pictures show the truth sometimes. Well, there's truth in this one, I'd say. Look at my smile. <laughs> <laughs> I captured her. And you see how happy she is I did? <laughs> <laughs> sometimes there's truth there. Duncan's right. But do you see that picture of me there? Don't we look like the perfect family? Well, my brother Fergus, there on the left, was pinching the devil out of me when that picture was taken. He did that all my life. He still does. 
sometimes the truth is somewhere behind the pictures, not in them. Uh, well, I better go hose him off. It's early, Journey. And Marcus and Lottie know where you are. You want to ride? I'm going to ride him home on my bike, Mr. McDougal. All right, then. I'm off. Bye. 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 Taught her. Taught her what? How to have kittens? No, how to be a mother. Mothers, no? Well, not all of them. Grandfather? Hmm? I want to take a picture with the timer. Oh. Oh, oh. Uh, In the hall, Kearney. Yeah. Oh, no. Now we have two of them. <laughs> Yeah. Everybody, get yeah. closer. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get around there. Oh. What? Where do you want to see? You yeah. sound like you know who. Who? The photographer twins. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm starting. Ten. Nine. Oh. <laughs> Quick, camera. It's good to eat with people who don't have food on their faces. <laughs> but I love Emmett. You certainly do. You're a good brother, Cooper. Thank you. Where's she going? She's going out. Don't worry. She'll be back. She'll come back, Johnny. She'll be back. Well, thanks. I better get going. Thanks again. Bye, Cooper. Bye. 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 Maybe someday I will marry him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come do some gardening with me. Yeah? Sure. I think I'll take a walk to hand house. Well, I'll get it, Grandfather.
That's a new one. Some chicken pecked me. I mean, taking pictures is a dangerous business. Mama called. She asked me how I was. She never said she was sorry for leaving. No. Men doesn't want to feel guilty. Then Mama said, they were only pictures journey. Your mama doesn't really understand about the pictures. Mama wants me to visit her. I told her I couldn't. I told her I had a cat and kittens to take care of. I told her someday, maybe, if she sent me words instead of money, I might visit her. Maybe. Grandfather? What journey? I told her nothing is perfect. Sometimes things are good enough. I like that picture. Mm. Oh, so do I. Hey, is that the chicken that pecked you? Huh. Maybe. He needs things to look back on. Shame about the old pictures. Guess there's no way to get him back. Do you know Journey? No. It's his third trip to town this week. Do not follow me. <laughs> What's he doing? Come on, let's find out. My darling man, what are you doing? Don't sweet talk me, Lottie. <laughs> well, we could spy on him. Better soon we could ask him. I think he's more fun to keep him waiting, don't you? Yeah. Shh. Grandfather? I'm busy. Busy in my office.
Every third or every fourth? Every other. Third. Remember when we used to make tents in the backyard? You liked to build the tents? And when you were done, you'd sit inside all jittery, waiting for something more to happen. What? Something grandfather said. Mama, waiting for things to happen. Remember when Mama got in the tent with us once? Yeah. She sat for a minute. And then she looked at us and said, well, what now? You and I, we weren't enough. Cat. Sorry, I couldn't put the pictures back together. I tried to make everything all right again. I know. You and Grandfather, two of a kind. What do you mean? Why do you think Grandfather takes family pictures? Because he likes to. He likes the camera. Don't you know that Grandfather wants to give you back everything that Mama took away? Family. Cat? Do you, do you hate Mama? I hate what she did. You say that, but do you really feel that way? I'm trying. Do you think she cares about us? In her way, I guess. What's wrong? I wish I had Grandpa's camera right now. Here, I'll help. Journey? Oh, my you. I'm going to kill you. Come back here. You're dead. Stop running. Come here. You run, but you can't hide. come back. I didn't think you had. I, I can't live here. I just can't. I'm sorry. All right, you. And the children? They seem happy. Min. Min, I've learned to play a recorder. Are you all right? Yeah. I, uh, <clears throat> I have to go.
Good night, Journey. Are you a moment, Pedro? But that, yeah, the kitty went in there. Are you going to bed? No, we're not going to bed yet. No, I got work to do. Good night. Where are your shoes? What is all this? Don't talk for a minute. Five, four, three, two, one. This is an enlarger. The red light is for developing. Dark room? You did all this? For black and white pictures. The pictures from the past. Now, this is a fine picture. Not perfect. But, but good, good enough. enough. more. Mama's pictures. There's a baby. This one. Baby. Is you. I remember. And now, the other picture. 
I know. I already know. It was your lap I sat on. You sang trot trot to Boston. Not Papa. It was your shirt, your button I remember. Your face. It was you who took care of me. Not Papa. It was you. And this is when you knew. summer night, Grandfather and I walked out through the barn. I trailed my fingers along the wood walls. I touched the hay, as if touching it somehow made it mine. Once they loved me. And when we opened the door, walked out of the barn, the night had gone, and the sun had come up. <laughs> <laughs>